Hello, welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. Something I think I haven't shown you too much of yet uh, that I collect is uh, mounted insects, uh, bugs, creepy crawlies, whatever, uh, you know, things things of that nature. I've got quite a few uh, framed, uh, like um, spiders, scorpions, uh, moths, butterflies, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's take a look. These ones are some examples of uh, things that I framed myself. You know, a lot of this was just a learning experience, kind of. Uh, I, I purchased a lot of these things um, that other people uh, uh, collected the, the specimens, but I had to pin them into place and everything. So this is a scorpion that I did. Um, so, you know, I don't claim that, that these things are necessarily the best, but like I said, it was a, a learning experience. The beetle there. This one is one that I actually found um, here in Ohio, so that was pretty cool. Stag beetle. <clears throat> Big, like, orb weaver spider there. Another beetle with some really long antenna. This is a really neat cicada. These blue on the wings and then yellow on the wings, too. This is one of the largest moths in the world. That's an atlas moth. You can see, here's my hand. There's the atlas moth. Pretty big. Some, uh, I think these are butterflies. They don't look like moths to me. I believe these are butterflies. And then all of these. So these are all things that I mounted, but I did not, um, you know, collect any of these myself except for I believe that beetle like I said was one that I collected. Some people that know me know that I really like praying mantises or praying mantids. Um, I think really it's correct to, to refer to it either way. Um, but these are some different uh, praying mantises here. This one is one of the coolest ones. The uh, orchid mantis is what it's commonly known as because it actually, when it has its wings folded up and everything, uh, really resembles an orchid flower. There's a very big one here. I love the name of this too. The scientific name, Adolomantis diabolica. That's awesome. Here's a rhinoceros beetle. You can see, obviously, why they call it a rhinoceros beetle with those uh, kind of horns that it has there. Um, this uh, this is one that I framed myself. Unfortunately, part of the leg broke off there. That that's common with these, especially if they if they get knocked around a little bit. It's still in there. I could probably reattach it, but uh, it's a really nice rhinoceros beetle specimen. This one is not a bug, but it's a flying lizard. Uh, so, scientific name, Draco Volans, or however you would say that. But you can see that this guy has got like a frill here. And um, these are actually the, uh, the ribs, the rib bones you can see going through here. It has these huge flaps of skin on its underside that it can extend those ribs out and use them like wings to glide on really neat and this one uh, my lovely girlfriend gave to me it's a really nice gift and here are a few more we have this neat uh, dragonfly really colorful this beetle here says it's uh, Indonesia and then this one this is a different kind of a rhinoceros beetle which um, someone who went to China um, on a trip, it was a, a business uh, sales manager that I worked with. He actually brought this back from China for me, so I thought that was really neat. That's a really cool... Um, I think this one's actually uh, considered a moth. I can't remember. I'd have to look. It might be a butterfly, but it's really cool. And these mantises here, they're really tiny, you see, but they're so colorful. Male and female there. Female on the left, male on the right. Really cool. And one more. This one is a fruit bat framed 
taxidermied fruit bat. I've had this one since, uh, I guess it was 2003. Pretty neat. So those are some of the framed creatures I have in my collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing these today. And remember until next time, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some. Thank you.